All right, as we promised maybe eight years ago, we would do a 4L80E Transgo HD2 kit video. And funny enough, something crazy happens every time, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> but we got, I don't even know, it's a later year though, right? Because it's got the tube in the back. Tranny core line. Yeah, really all you need to know is early year has two here, like a TH400, later year has one in the back, so. Those are really the only two models per se when they say do you have a later and early but we have everything pretty much ready to go we even put it up on a nice engine stand and we got the hd2 kit over here so should i bring it over no you can leave it there if you want. all right on the anyway. well we'll quit screwing around and yeah watch the master do his thing here Small i had to have driver. yeah be very careful with the plastic take the harness out I have never done one of these by myself. That may surprise you. It's too easy to have Corey do it. I'll just hold on to that guy. Keep those together. Yes, if you put the wrong clip on the wrong thing, you kind of screwed or what? And that's the rear feed tube, right? Yes. Now, is that on the early one? It's in a different spot, I think. Yeah, I think it's longer. Something else is funny. Anyway. Okay, pull the feed the tube. We don't need to pull the harness, we just need nope. to toss it. Nope. Okay. And just start knocking out the tens. 10 mil. An eight mil. And Eights are in the. Everywhere. Yeah. We always leave the bolts in. You might think I'll pull all these bolts and throw them in a box, but some are different length, I think, right? Uh, not on this. On the four, on the four all sixties now. Yeah. They're just different sizes here. But there's no good or bad to leaving the bolts. So. I mean, you're gonna eventually have to take them back out, like, but just keep everything like I do here. Keep everything together. And when you put them back together, you can't mess up these because they hold the harness. There's a mark oh. from where the bolt was. If there's no mark from the bolt, ah. it got a holder, or whatever you want to call it. Yep, you can see like see where this is rubbed off in a circle from the bolt. That's what he means. Oddly enough, those have rub marks. I don't exactly know why, but... <laughs> Maybe someone tightened it down and forgot the detent and put it back to someone at the GM factory. Probably. Let me take this nice eight. Eight milli. When you do what Matt does and you rip this off. So Split it, it in two pieces. Off. Yeah. I broke this thing in half the last time and manage to put it back together. Yes, twist it off, right? Yeah, push down and twist. Push down and twist. Yes, I ripped this off and all the buttons came out and he's like, well, you're buying one of those. Didn't we silicone it back in? No, I managed to put it back together for my, he's looking at. For my IT skills, I think. It's Putting like keyboards and laptop shit back together. I was like, dink, dink, dink. Made now it this work. this is gonna make a hell of a mess. Taking the plate off. Oh, wow. More drained out than we thought it was. Mm -hmm. Normally we do this on the floor, guys, and it's <laughs> comical. The uh, we have uh, from the Kia to the vacuum here a puddle. We're standing in, laughing. Do you want to do it on the bench or on the floor over there? My cardboard. Uh, a nice dirty piece of cardboard. Yeah, we can do it. Well, I can get you a different piece of cardboard. What do you say? We can do it on this. Yeah, that. Okay. Nice and clean. Well, you don't want to gouge up the valve body? Not this time, maybe mm. next time. Yeah, I don't even know what he pulled this out of. Damn, those were tight. Yeah, a couple of them were. I'll let you hold that. Yeah. 
You can't mix these bolts up. The only six are like that. <laughs> Easy then. This makes a mess. And then you do what everybody else does. And you hit it and give yourself a bath in oil. So you want to cover these holes over here. <laughs> and then mess with it. Ah, oh, and you is that a fluid path? Yeah, the, so when you the pop feed it holes right here, so whenever, whenever it comes you screaming out of there. Scream. Oh, <laughs> no kidding. You set this off to the side. And that was just a uh, ha ha demo. Imagine what it does when it's really pissed. Now I got it everywhere here. That wasn't supposed to happen. Just a small gleep, not a big one. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe we need a torx. Okay. Take that out. That's first. Well, not necessarily first in the direction. A hand tool one. What size is that? Wow, bigger than that. You think the shit Harbor Freight bits will do it? Yeah, I can take it out with a hand, hand launch on. Yeah? And to put it back is a Allen. Whoa. I'm just twisting this thing. Is it coming out? There it goes. Watch the aluminum. Took some skin off my hand. Very sharp. Just like working on LS cylinder heads. All right. Now, do you discard this guy? Yep, you don't need that. We toss that bitch. Yeah, not for your Pittsburgh brand uh, Allen key fell on the floor. Oh, nice. Full box somewhere. That's fine. That's gonna get a bolt and a washer. And I don't remember if we were torquing these or I'm sure somebody's gonna comment on it and say we're doing yes. it wrong. Uh huh. We, I think we always put them in by hand. I, I'm pretty sure I, we do. Absolutely do not remember using a torque wrench on a 4L80E. No, I don't think we have. Smush. Looks good, try to round it off. Yep. You can just round it off and leave it in there, guys. <laughs> Once and done, just forget about it. We should have put the 3 8 impact thing on it and blasted it on and drilled the head out. And then you're gonna get a new orange spring. For the accumulator. That goes there. So you're gonna take your old orange spring, which is hmm. pretty similar. Maybe this is the same thing, I don't know. Yeah, Maybe I don't know. already put a kit in it. Maybe. And that'd be a hell of a thing. Well, it didn't say trans go all over the thing, so. And it probably has a thin plate on it. Just an updated part, possibly. The other thing is, you're gonna end up taking this check ball out. Mm -hmm. Does not get that check ball. You can leave them in if you have it on its back. If you have it on its side or something, they're gonna fall out and go all over the place. Um, you wanna save it? I usually save it. I'll give you a grab bag so you can continue your ADE building business. I have a ton of ADE parts in the basement I'll give you. That sounds like a good plan. I'm probably gonna need them. Parting gift. Gas can only goes on one way. Ta-da. You can take this all apart and clean it, or you can just slap it back together and not care. Fluid looks mint in this trans. Look at this. It doesn't work at all when we're done. Mm -hmm. This might turn into one of those rebuild videos and not a... <laughs> Should get those bolts out. Get all of them? No, three. That's definitely a pan bowl. Like dirty as hell. There they are. Two, three, five, I got four of them now. Maybe two left. Tiny clean ones. Or we just start throwing pan bowls in. Yeah, those are definitely it. As you can see, the pan bolts are grody as fuck. Do 
of uh, extension with a create ratchet. Okay, yeah, you want to ratchet them? Ooh. That's what happens whenever you push on it. <laughs> the Kia almost took a bath. Spray the Kia. What, you want like a six inch? Yeah, that's fine. Six inch ratchet, six inch extension. And then what do you, you got the 10 mil? Yeah. We well, want to blast them or what? <laughs> Strip out the valve body. Wow, yeah. Talking about There's fluid. Some, uh, some fluid in there yet. Probably should have drained that. Not like it makes a difference. Not now, at least. No, nah, we'll just tilt this it again. It's gonna stay in. We don't have to take that out for anything. This is the transmission going into the Colorado with a torque converter over there, a PTC single billet. Probably I, torqued. I left the converter in there. Look how big that stock fucking beast is. I usually give those away. Surprisingly, people, you know, don't want to put a converter in right away, blow their budget. All right. This part's done. Ta-da. Um, normally, when I don't get up at 4 o'clock in the morning, I'd have brought my parts with me. Yeah. <laughs> I have really long bolts I bought at the hardware store. Yeah. If you get this thread, which I have to look and find out which thread it is, you can get like a, I don't know what you want to do. Oh, find. yes. I know uh, what you mean. The guides. Like a five, maybe four inch long bolt. Yeah. Cut the head cut off. Cut the head off. And you put one in here and one in here. Wow. Yeah. And you yeah. can just slide it down on. That makes it way easier, I'm sure. Yeah, instead of having to line everything up and feed the bolts in, but it was too early when I left for work this morning, so I didn't yeah. bring them. Well, we gotta do the pump yet. And then I believe this part's done. This part's done, the pump is not. Okay. So then we can take these nice screwdrivers and ice picks. Take this. Can we get a light? Yeah, if you want. Take the back end of a 3 8 rat, uh, yeah, extension. They make a tool for this, but... Fuck if we ever use it. That. Yeah. You want the one with the lip on it? Pop idea. the other edge? I'm gonna squeeze it in there. You're bleeding already. Damn, I only nicked myself. Let's get the other end going. Take your pick off. There we go. Move it off to the side. Yep. There you go. You have a magnet? Yep. Okay. I feel like a dentist. <laughs> Cleaning some plaque. Hopefully this is small enough. It's certainly dirty enough. Those are usually stuck in there pretty good. You just pop it loose. Ooh. Again, watch yourself. So You'll see the it. lesson here is to like put a towel over the fucking valve. Or, or you could lay it over and drain it. <laughs> then you just wiggle it. It's like the dirtiest magnet ever. I see that. Oh, here it comes. I'm gonna help Everything you out. Everything transmission is very precise sensitive so we're jamming foreign materials into it yeah all the metal shavings and stuff on this magnet here we go here we go and the inside of the valve is going to come out there's gonna be a couple of springs oh there's a washer in there too dang a couple of springs lots of shit and one more valve which again has to come out 100 percent perfect Oh, hey. I'm pretty sure all of these are the same for the older ones, but in the paperwork it says it compares the two sizes somewhere in here. Probably on the first page where I missed it. Yeah, right here, it compares the two sizes. Type two, type one. Stem, no stem, so we're not, spacer. We're gonna have a no stem. 
So we're not going to put that spacer in. That's the only difference between the two. Ah, so okay. all of this stuff, trash. throw it away. Or you can send it to Cameron. Huh? He likes the over or those uh, clutch packs. For him too. He likes when you send them those. I will sell him all that shit then. I usually I have a couple sets I'll send. Them. No ball here. Oh, wait I like a second. How it Hold on. You need this piece. Stupid me. Yeah, I'll send the rest to Cam. We'll throw it all in here. See this bottom valve. We only pull it out to see if it has a stem or not. Stupid me. Bottom valve. Cool. And you just feed this one back down in there. And you take your... You can take an ice pick or a screwdriver. Just run it around. Oh, wow. That, uh, that kidney out. stabber really works really well. I haven't gotten to use it yet, really. They give you a new snap ring. Probably because people like us take it out with ice picks. And bend the fuck out of it. Probably. Yeah. So that'll Like be... I said, you don't need the spacer. Cool. Probably shouldn't set stuff on the side of a trans. Send it to Cameron. Cam's trans. <laughs> so it's gonna com. Go big spring. Big green. Little, what is that, purple, I guess they want to yeah. call it that. I always put a screwdriver over them. So you can kind of aim them. Oh, yes. Wow, precision. Then you get this nice flat washer, which again, you could aim. Whoa. You get this new boost valve here. He's a professional, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know about that. That's why he makes it look easy. This usually always falls apart when you turn it upside down. I'm sure there's a way you could probably glue it in there with grease or uh, something. Yeah, axle grease, petroleum jelly or whatever, right? Probably something like that. But fuck that, quick, why would you, you do that? You can just throw it in. Like I do. Then you take your six inch extension, drop it on the floor, get it all dirty. <laughs> Always the first rule, throw it on the floor. And then we gotta put that snap ring in, right? Yep. Wow, yeah, we're good. Uh, this is the fun part. Let me get the, the one with the hook on it here. This is the part that's going to take forever on camera. If you use a 3 8 extension, you won't slip off of that. Hmm. It's got enough on it. Too many hands. Got the other end? Yeah, I can get both ends. Snap ring pliers. Maybe one day we'll buy a pair. You Maybe. need a set with a pretty long reach on yeah, it. Yeah, and they need to be. Because it's narrow. They probably need to be expensive as fuck because they have to be super long yeah. and strong. Because you'll get a long pair and it'll just bend like a piece of shit, probably. Well, you won't get them at AutoZone. I've tried. They have those stupid ends that you can take off. Yeah, and, and the junk. nuts hit up here before it reaches. You know what? I was actually at Harbor Freight the other day. I'm going to use skinny pliers. I'm going to try skinny pliers. What do you say? You should see me do this by myself. Fuck that. I got real skinny pliers. Real skinny. They might work. Let me try this. Look at this. It's almost like a pair of snap ring pliers. If I could, Ooh. uh... Here, hold down the edge quick. Eh. Here, I'll do this. Alright, cool. Now put the screwdriver over that beast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll just push down the edges. And then you give it a couple. Yeah, make sure it's neutral. Definitely not coming out. Wow, those are... Uh, those are nice. I'm going to need a set of those. Wow, just a little pair of needle nose, kids. All right. Now we got to get started on this hot valve body here. <laughs> Grab your tools. Got all these eight millimeters here. And this is spring loaded. Two springs. Just set that off to the side. Mint. This comes off. Hopefully in one piece. Cameron sent me a funny ass picture the other day. 
And that of him, all the... it's like halfway peeled off, and he's trying to like clean up the rest. And this it's like shit. Actually, came off. Very nice. Like, I'm glad that came off. Nicer mine. than ever. It actually looks <laughs> like this was just put on. Yeah, look at it. It's like weird grind marks in it. Anyway. It looks like they surfaced it or something. Somebody did. It's fucking weird. Somewhere, anyway. Somewhere. You see all sorts of neat things when you open ADEs. Mm -hmm. Pick it up and dump it out. Yep. I don't know what that was. Hmm. A ball. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing usually falls out of these whenever I flip them over. Interesting. Now I'm worried. <laughs> we'll have to count them then. Well, there shouldn't be any check balls on this side of the Yeah, plate. maybe they put an extra one in. I guess we'll see if something's loose, huh? Mm-hmm. Because that retaining plate's in. That retaining pin's in. It or if it was just side. something that slopped. I hope so. Did it hit the thing? It went in the hole, of course. Ah, huh, cool. First place it would logically go, straight yeah. down. Hmm. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Everything's tight. Oh, I know what it was. Yeah? I think the... I think the retaining pin for this solenoid is broken. Oh, and part of it fell out? I think so. You want a, a stronger pair of pliers? Yeah. The pin's broken. Oh, yeah. So half of it came out. Do you have another valve body? Uh, I might. probably comes out the other side and I'm pulling on like a jackass. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it comes out the top. Yeah, there it is. Oh, okay. That's what broke. Cool. Retainer for shift, uh, shift solenoid. Yeah, I'll Lock see. Lockup solenoid, I mean. I'll see if I got another. If not, we can put that in from... This can go on after the... Yeah, when we're done. In, yeah. See? Something interesting always happens. Every time. That's for the... Those are the shift solenoids. Yeah. And those well, are... These are two shift solenoids. This should be or a lockup solenoid. Oh, okay. That should control your lockup torque converter. Cool. Yeah, I'll get a pin. I might have one of those laying around. I think I had a spare and I gave it to Mitch. For shift solenoids. When we swapped the shift solenoids the yep. one day. I'll see what I got in my barrel in my basement then. Well, now that we went that far. Yeah. Good enough. <clears throat> now we don't need to go digging in the oil. Yeah, I was gonna jam my magnet in there and swish it around. Now you gotta take the eighth inch drill bit, which is that one you gave me on the end, mm -hmm. right? It says eighth inch on it. Well, they have a guide here. We'll explain maybe a little. <laughs> That's next. Now you're gonna go for this hole right here. Mm -hmm. Drill a hole. Right where they show you there. Just like right there, through there. Yep without nicking up this side too bad. Mm -hmm. I've nicked them up pretty bad and they still work. I'm sure everybody's gonna tell you that that's not the proper way to do it. You could probably start smaller. We have a smaller one. Yeah. We need to go to a 316. I'll get my drill. I got tiny ass bits here. And we can snap all of those off. You know what would probably work nice? Like a center punch. You have one? No. That's <laughs> why I just pull for the best. When you've done it enough. High speed with the needle point. I try to get them as hard of an angle to start just to put an indent in. Be nice. Oh, since it started, see so you're starting to nick it there. Yep. Now that there's a dent in there, you can just come just off the valve body where you're supposed to. Be nice 
with it. Once it's through. So we have broken them many times forcing them. Then you can go to an <laughs> eight. This is nice and wobbly. Oh yeah. This will probably break. No. What a beast. You have a 316? What's this? I can get you one. Yeah, it says you're supposed to go to 316. Well, it's in the kit then, right? Yes. There's a 316 in the kit. They give you all the bits in the kits. Which I would assume are these two. The bigger of the two black ones. So it's this, it's this big mamma jamma here at the end. Actually, bring that whole kit over. We're just going to need the raw pieces out of it. Yeah, the 3 16th is the biggest one, it says on the ass end, right there. Yeah. This one. That's it. Be nice again. Really big hole. Yeah. Mint. And we only messed it up. Minimal boogering. A little bit there. And before you go any further. Not even two thousands. Much of the aluminum out as you can. I got Q-tips out here too. I brought two down so we could swing them through that valve body. And they make valve bodies make for excellent areas to spray stuff back into your eyes. <laughs> that looks good like that. You end up like that. Nice. We gotta clean one more out, but we'll be all right. This shit. Anyway, then you take a smaller drill bit and this roll pin right here. They make special tools to take those out. I don't have those tools, so I just put a drill bit on there and just bounce oh, it yeah. out. And then everything comes out at 800 miles an hour. I've never had one do that before either. Usually you have to fight the plug out. <laughs> I think I remember having to dick with that. Yeah. Um, this spring doesn't matter. Plug doesn't matter. Because you get new ones, right? Yes, oh yeah, do. look at all that. The valve you can leave in there. That doesn't really make a difference. I know this gets bolted onto the top. Yep. Yeah, that'll get As I on. remember. That's another drill hole we gotta make. And okay, it says, they give you the guide. According to this, you want to use for slightly firmer shifts the outer blue accumulator by itself, or even firmer shifts the inner blue by itself. Oh yes, yep, even firmer. That's my. Well, we already know we ain't gonna use the bigger one. Hmm. Yeah, nice. And then you're gonna use the smaller plug with the brown seal. You're gonna fight it over the plug. Rip it in half. Everything's nice and. Lubed up for you. Set these back off to the side. The threaded end is always going to go out. Take some of this nice trans fluid here. The seal. Slide your spring in. This is where we pulled the pin out. I think there's a. Yeah, there's a uh, step on there. Oh yeah, you can see it. That goes on here. And this goes in here. Precise. Very precise. We'll squish that in. Gentle, precise. And then these little roll pins that I had to knock out go in a certain way. One end's tapered, one end has a little lip on it here. Mm -hmm. Tapered end's gonna go in first. And you just take something flat. Socket, 10 mil, works yeah, beautifully. Little hammer, the end of a plastic, you know, plastic handle of a screwdriver, works pretty good too. Then you come over to here, and you're gonna do the same thing with this plug. These ones are a bastard, sometimes. Huh. Of course, I spoke too soon. Getting them out, however. Yeah, I remember this. We've get flatheads in here and all sorts of shit. 
beat the shit out of it. Nice little spot on the ground there. Prepare to ruin the valve body. The very end here, there's a plastic plug inside. Mm -hmm. I see it. And you want to aim for that, which is the very end piece here. So you just... Anything oh. you can do to get just a little bit here, a little bit there. There she goes. There, I can see it pretty good actually. Yeah, if you gotta dig into the side of that, basically that's gonna be used as a spacer nowadays. We're done here. Oh, getting somewhere. Yep, and you got to that thing, now you can pry on it harder. Yep. Plug, and the silly filter. And that's empty now. This plug is junk. This hot filter here is a piece we need to grind. Because what's gonna happen here is you're gonna take, there's two plugs in here. This one's got a step on it. I'm gonna put this O ring on it. It's more of this nice used oil. Stand this up, drop this in so that the the step is higher. Mm -hmm. It's gonna go down into the valve body. So you're gonna position it down like that and then you're gonna take like a 10 millimeter socket or something. More custom tools. You look down in there and it's flush. Oh, okay. So that's it all yeah, the way. Yeah, I can see that. Now the reason you have to grind this filter is because when you put it in, the chances of you getting this in there all the way, I have never put one together that have just... Where it's going flat. That have just fallen in. So what you gotta do is grind this end. Oh, you gotta pull the O-ring off, I forgot about that. <laughs> that thing's so pointy, you gotta watch it. I was getting ready to stab myself. Put it right through your finger. I could see it in my head for a moment, you putting it so, right through your thumb. <laughs> it'll say here, outer edge, it'll tell you you gotta grind it. So yeah. You gotta grind this flat. So Hilariously enough, guys, I have cut this thing down to like, cause they are like, yeah, cut the filter. So I've cut like the whole filter off. Yeah, I'm <laughs> not sure why we did that. Yeah, I did it cause I, I you know, just, jumped right in and I was Can like just put it back in like that yeah too? I, I, we I fucking went hard and I happened. was like rop we threw it in and we laughed and I think that was the transmission that was in the gold car that I sold to Michael Brennan that has gone uh, nines for two years but after, that won't work according, yeah. to, according to the pros no uh, grinder not, it's not what you're supposed to do we always just use this bro right mm -hmm. with a nice cutting bit on. Yeah, nice and new. Harbor Freight Exploder. At least you're videoing this, so when I lose a finger, we know why. Yep. Put more of the top off, more of the sides off. all this crap out. Be enough. About a grinding bit would have. Yeah, I actually, first time or two I did that, I cut the bitch right in half with that grinding, with a cutoff wheel. I just sauced it in half. You want a razor? Nope, looks good. Yeah. Man. And it goes in the grinding part we did up first. Toss that shit in there. Then this orange spring, because remember the blue one we didn't use, because Matt doesn't like soft shifts. Mm -hmm. Slides down in there. And that little roll pin we took out is gonna go through the center of this. Mm -hmm. So you want it to go straight up and down. So you just gotta, of course everything's precision. Unlike our work ethic. <laughs> It says for firmer shifts, you use inner blue accumulator spring by itself. Let me get lucky here. It says you use the blue one by itself. That's the outer one. This is the outer one? Oh, there's two blues? Use the outer 
outer blue by itself or inner blue by itself oh, or this more. Is, so this is the wider You're one. You're supposed to use two of them for this. Just to make it softer. Slightly firmer. No, slightly firmer is just the big one. Even firmer is the small one. Mm -hmm. I got like a little framing hammer. You yeah, wanna, it's gotta be. Wanna give it a hit? One, yeah. It's gotta be 100% perfectly in there. Can, it's a little lightweight, you can just probably have it done by the time I get back here. You want a, a punch? I have it now. Yep, I said he'll have it done by the time I this little lightweight. Yeah, that'll work. Next page. Now we get to start drilling holes. You're gonna need two of the regular 10 millimeter valve body bolts. I'll have to show you I welded that pan shut. You're gonna flip this bad boy over here. And you're aiming for this set of holes here. And you're gonna take this, I guess this is like a pressure, yeah, pressure relief assembly. Which of course you gotta put together and everything is small and tiny and oily. You're gonna take just the plate and the transgo piece is gonna go to the forward side of the valve body like that. Slide these two in. And it says you're supposed to put nuts on the back side. I've done it enough that I... It doesn't matter. We don't do it. Those. Who cares? It's only going to be off so far. You're going to yeah. aim for the center hole. Everything moves and is spring-loaded, so it's not hard. It definitely says 316s. There we go. And then you're just going to go... Light pressure. Now, interestingly enough, this hole that we've made in the valve body goes right into where we fed, where we made the feed hole. Yeah. Look at that. So the hole we made first and the hole yeah. we made second. Yep. Uh, go to the same. That's for the tricky business. Cavity. I guess that's stop over pressure. I'm not 100 percent sure. I don't know what they do. It's tricky. All I know is it says put it on, so I put it on. <laughs> this your only can? Yeah. Oh boy. I got the greaser we can <laughs> flood it out with. <laughs> skimp on it. Skimp on that the skimp on that carb cleaner, dude. <laughs> actually, it actually does look pretty good. Wow. Mint. It looks pretty good. Right. Yep. That back in. Shift selector. Now you gotta take folks back out. And take all this crap. There's all this spring. horse shit. And a little e-clip here. Don't worry about the two nuts. Those are, like I said, you're supposed to put them on the back side of this. So you're gonna take this plate, put the spring on it, or on this on this pin. Goes in the center hole that you drilled. This is where it gets interesting. Hold that aside. Because everything's oily and gross and slippery. Yeah, looks good. Set that off to the side for now. On the next page. Now we get to start blowing holes in a valve body gasket or valve body plate. Now, this plate is three plates thick instead of the factory one plate thick. Mm -hmm on account of them pulling, this is starting to, it pulls the, valve, the bolts, or the, yeah, the bolts. Oh yeah, I see it. The check balls through the plate. Surrounding it. Yeah, it actually, I've actually seen them go through the plate on oh, like shit. 460s, they'll actually go through or get stuck. That fucking 60s are junk, that's why. Yeah, <laughs> like Steve's truck, I think it was starting to go through. I don't think like it was Like pulled the ball right through? Yeah. You gotta hold it like this. Clean Here's surface. where it gets fun. Oh yes, they ask you what kind of shifts you want for the gears. Average of 0.086, softer is 0.076, firm is 0.096. For off-road use, eighth inch. <laughs> yep, eighth inch. That's what we always blow through. So. Matt says he'll always turn it down in the computer later and he always forgets. Yes, I never do. I don't care. Actually, um, uh, funny enough is we've drilled it out fairly large and I've tried to turn it down and you cannot. 
It's so violent, uh, you can't even turn it down. That's why when I drive Troy's truck around, it just fucking thuds. It chirps the tires and rattles the dash on the one two uh, with like one PSI of pressure commanded because there's no way to turn it down. Now I've done on Troy's two dump trucks that I worked on, I did... What, like 100? I think I did the .96. Yeah. But on the blue springs, I think I just used the bigger spring of the two. Okay. Because I figured the dump truck, 4,500 dump truck, probably needs a little bit extra yeah. firmer shifts. And it actually was very calm. Huh. For the for Because of all the truck. weight, I was, maybe. I was actually very surprised. Well, I'm sure it was. So that's, that's why we've... Because we keep overdoing it. I yeah. think one car, we drilled 145 into it. I think so. Just for fun, and I don't think we really noticed much of a difference. No, I think you only noticed it in Corey's truck because it was a leaf spring rear. Okay. I think is why it seemed as violent as it did. America's when we put those traction bars on, yeah. it shifted perfectly smooth. So I think it was actually the leaf springs that were... Axle wrap. Yeah, that were... Thudding the car thudding around. We're so, going to take this hot eighth inch drill bit. The wobbler. And you got to follow your stupid picture here that doesn't really make much sense because they don't match yeah but <laughs> you take this nice happy face with an eyebrow here which is right here that's a hole and that's a hole you're gonna aim for the right one here Damn, that'll small. do fourth now what I do is drill a little here not all the way through and then you flip it over and drill the rest of the way through and it stops it from burning the other side. Yeah, bad. because if you uh, if you just drill straight through, then it burns the shit out of the other side. See, there's only a little bit of a burr. Oh yeah. Then you just take this nice drill bit and professionally machine it off. <laughs> Mint. That's one done. Mint. Now we're gonna go for third gear. So these two rectangle. We're gonna go for that hole. Put the bit into your finger. Mm -hmm. Professionally machined off. Yeah. Looks yep. Good. Looks Man, really that's good, nice. Yeah. Now we're gonna nice go for work. second gear. So, like I said, the pictures don't exactly line up correctly because I think this is a picture of a factory gasket versus a plate that was not factory. Hmm. So we're gonna go for this square hole, then it goes to an oblong one. There's a check ball hole. This is what's confusing. Maybe this hole right here. It doesn't quite line up very well. Yeah, it's above to the right of the square. Yeah, you just basically just look everything in the picture around here. Yep. There's three lo three oblong ones, there's three oblong ones here. So that's gotta be it. If it's not, I doubt we're even gonna notice the difference yeah. in What uh what if we drill all the holes in this valve body to the eighth inch? Would that be bad or good? Well I guess there's only one way to find out. Yeah. We'll have to try that one day when yeah. we're like out of work and stuff. Yeah. And we have nothing else better to do with our time. Yeah. Drill every single. And then we'll report back. When you have your full ADE rebuilding stand and we can run the motor without a vehicle. Yeah. Get that off. Looks good. Ship it. That's your plate. Ta da. All done. So we can set that off to the side now. And the two gaskets. Oh next on to the next one now we're gonna be working in this nice accumulator housing here you look at the picture sometimes they get a spring here or a valve sometimes they don't I think it's the older ones got it this is fourth this is third um, fourth you're gonna reuse this one third you're gonna take this big ass green one out and then there's a white one right there in that little bag there white so there's a little bit of a difference between the two of them. Put that in there. That's done. Again, you could take that apart, clean them, lube them up, the seals. We see no difference. No. If you're that <laughs> anal about it, you want to put it back together, STP engine treatment, huh. like that gooey shit, is yeah, an excellent... Lubricant to put rubber seals and a transmission back together. Cam breaking. Yeah. Jelly. And I call I it think... jelly. Now I think we're ready to put it back together. So under this box. Nope, gaskets are over on the bench. 
Well, we need the that snap ring. We're not going to put in. That's nope. going to end up going to Cameron too, I guess. Yep. I'll ship him a nice care package. Two gaskets. One of them's going to have a set of holes up here. One of them's not. Obviously, that's what this gasket's for. And I always get this backwards here. I believe this one goes on first. This edge. And then the plate. One time we took apart an ADE and it had the Transgo logos all over the fucking thing already, so. So it must have been revealed at that point, at some point. And this one goes this way. And then these two bolts that we used to line everything up for we'll the drilling. Again. Just kind of. Get this guy wiggle over here. There we go. Force it and rip the gaskets open and stuff. I think we siliconed a set of gaskets too once before. Uh, yeah, I, I think because you that. and I, I'm pretty sure we ripped one. So now that's and you up. were like, well, this is never going to work. And I'm like, nah, just silicone it. Yeah, if it doesn't work, I'll take it apart. It never came back apart. Yeah, it worked. I line that up. Even if it didn't work, uh, we wouldn't take it apart. <laughs> Matt, how does that work? It's, it's great. It's fine. Don't the car's about. great, Harry. The car's great. Let's get these little bastards back in. She runs good, Harry. Millimeter covered in dirt because we're building a clean room here. Yep. Grab that ratchet. Hand tight, about spark plug tight. Yeah. That's what I always tell people spark plug tight. That's different to a lot of people, so. 18 to 20 some foot pounds. It's gonna be wrong for the YouTube commentators anyway, so. Yeah. Most of them are pretty aware of how it goes at this point. <laughs> we haven't had one not work yet, so. <laughs> There's not a lot of smart ass comments anymore. I don't Surprisingly. know why I that gasket on there. Well. That was retarded, but whatever. Is it up top? And let me think about this a second. I think we're ready. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, mint. Mint. Now make sure the shift selector goes in here. Not that you put it all together. You take it all the way apart just put to get it up the in the car and realize that in. it doesn't shift. Well, it doesn't move. You got it. And it will not sit flush because that one solenoid or servo that we never took out mm -hmm. doesn't let it. Again, all the bolts are the same, so you just pick holes that are have screw marks on them. Don't really need this anymore, huh? Nope. And again, this is going to end up up here. Yep. Might as well drop that Let's guy on. Here. Smoothie. This one's gonna go here. There That's for the one. rear feed tube. Yep. That one we're just gonna set here. Put we're it on not gonna later. put it in yet because everything else has to go on before that tube goes in. Grab a bunch of these bolts. The other thing that works pretty good for putting these together is one of those uh, speed wrenches. Oh yeah, I got one. You can actually just. If you flick your wrist correctly, you can uh, screw them in with that without ever actually having to use an impact. Now this one, give me one more bolt. Goes in the face to hold the wiring to these? Yeah. Well, my missing the solenoid is, now. Since we're putting this plate over it, there's no, see it, it went, it caught a groove. Mm -hmm. Now there's no groove. Now there's nothing there. So you just kind of angle it. it and just smush it. It doesn't matter. Nice Merry Christmas towel ruining. I think uh, this is the plate. Yeah, let me wipe this out quick. Not that it matters. Birds are going wild. Yeah, must be a fight. Yeah, there's a fight. Murderous birds in the bushes. Eight millimeters, there's six of them. 
need one more 10. There's a 10. For here. One more 10 for here. Those are the long 10s. The rest are pan bolts and discards. We're missing an eight. Oh, it's right here. Ta-da, I put it in the wrong there. spot. This is the discard from there. Yes. Camera powers. Camstrans.com. Torque to spec. Here it comes. Starting to center. Move all over place. Snuggies. Again, smush that down. It don't matter. Yeah, we hammer it actually. In the instructions, it tells yeah. you to bump Smartly it slightly. Hit it with a hammer. Yes, very lightly dink it. Now, I'm so not that hanging it's... on these. These are just till yeah. they're touching. I don't know what it's going to sound like on video. Uh, that it's one. pretty good. So this goes over this. Snug these up here. Like this. Correct. Sometimes you have to tap them in, sometimes they're not 100%. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'll use a little hammer and dink them very lightly. Sometimes they're bent funny and they have a spring to them. You, you'll see them all different ways. That one's definitely flat. That one's sticking yeah. out a little bit. Sometimes the back does. You can probably tap it if you want. Put it on the ledger. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. And he's starting to center and... Hand, spark plug tight again. For reference of people who have a history of stripping out spark plugs, Spark plug tight is like 18 to 24 foot pounds max. <laughs> I want to say 18 is probably tight for these. I don't remember exactly. Oh yeah, what maybe they're 12. Oh, I think I back out. They're in the teens. Whoops, I forgot. There you go. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna go back over them all again. Probably definitely lost, not lost one, but forgot one. It's always nice to go over it 60 times, you know for sure, so you can sleep at night. So when you see videos of me doing 160 in the truck, you don't cringe as much? <laughs> not as much. Just light cringing, not full on cringe. <laughs> Excellent. Then you very gingerly plug everything back in. Yeah, and everything has its own plug, so you can't really fuck it up. Mm -mm. As long as you don't gorilla shit, like some people. Some of them you will you will not have a chance of pulling it apart. They're so hot They're and brittle. Cold. You look at them and the pieces are flying across the room. Already. Yeah, the harnesses are fairly cheap for these guys. We've done it on a bunch of them. It's like 40 bucks on eBay. A guy will sell you a kit for like everything. Gasket, harness, all yeah. sorts of shit. You do what I do. I've done what, 30 of these things already? And I continually set it up on the pressure solenoid mm -hmm. and you dig up these nice yeah we always pry them always out. just pull them out a little bit and then whenever you take this thing off it's got this little tab here so it just huh. clicks down on and then we got to get a new uh yeah get a nice lip on that see we drilled that hole and that thing has like an anvil head on it so it may you leak a little like bit seal it i guess yeah you smack it and it gives it like a flare Fit, whatever and then you just 
Go over the directions one more time, make sure you didn't forget nothing. Which I don't believe we did. And then I'm gonna go to Advanced Auto and pick up a filter and gasket. This, this is the stuff that uh, we don't do because nah, the, pump, we never the do pump's it. not out. The direct drum we is We never not take out. the pump out. If it's a part, people say you're supposed to take it apart and do it. We've never done it. Never done it. Not once. <laughs> not needed. That's everything. That's it. Done.